All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Um, Y'all that know me know I'm crazy. I'll do anything. Um, I'm, I'm not dressed up today. I'm just in my bathrobe. It's Sunday. I'm just kicking back. The old SWG Star Wars Galaxies from Sony Online Entertainment. Great game. I played. I played live back in... 2008, 2010, played for a couple years, they shut the servers down, somebody leaked the code for the software, and somebody's redone the game, now I played a couple years ago on EMU, EMU has come out and said they are not going to fix space, space will not work, it's okay, this was pre-combat patch, pre-NEG, whatever they call it. Um, the game we're playing today is post-patch. This is after the patches. Some people have a problem with the game at that point. But you know what? No matter which side you're on, it was a great game. And space works, and droids work, and everything's good. So I wanted to do a tutorial on how to install this on Linux. So let's get to it. Okay, so with Linux, it's really easy to mess around with ISO files. With Windows, I always had to download some. I'm sorry, I got a cough drop in my mouth, y'all. Um, with Windows, I always had to get a third-party program. To down to uh, install ISOs or burn it to a disk or a flash drive and then install it that way. Linux makes shit so easy. Just download a copy of the game. Now look, you'll have to get this game. I can't tell you where to get it. It's abandoned where, but I can't post links. Just go on the internet, find a copy of the game. I paid Sony. For a digital license. I paid for my copy of the game. And I paid a little extra. For the expansion. I own a copy of the game. For the rest of my life. I own this. If you have an old set of discs somewhere. Just drag them out. Wipe them off. Install the game. If you don't have the disc. Find the digital download. Find the copy somewhere. Can't tell you where, I'm sorry. Unzip it. And in that folder, you're going to find one, two, three, four ISOs. You do not need the jump to light speed, the JTL ISO. Don't need that. Just ignore that one. Because on the server we're playing on, JTL is already installed. They made it easy. So, how to do this in Linux? You want to right click on the ISO, and this works with any ISO, and go down to Mount Archive. Bam. Appears right here on the desktop. It also appears under Devices. Remember that. It's right here under Devices. Leave this window up during the install. You'll need it. Go ahead while you're doing things and just mount Part 2, and go ahead and mount Part 3. All three ISOs are now mounted. The system can find them and read them. Open the first one and start the install. Watch your checkboxes. You don't need a shortcut on the desktop. You don't need a menu shortcut. You don't need any of that because we're going to use a different launcher anyway. We're not going to use their launcher. Just get them all installed. When it asks for disk 2, come down here, click on the second one. Click OK or continue. It'll install them. And in my case, it never asked for disk 3. It automatically found it and just kept installing until it was done. That's it. That's literally all you have to do. When you're done, unmount your disk. They just, Linux makes shit so easy. I love it. Okay, so the game is installed. And it didn't take nothing to do it. You're going to need to go to this web page. 
right here swglegends.com okay swglegends.com once here you're gonna click on the let's get started that's gonna take you to the install page skip this you're already installed you don't need this if you didn't get any errors or any issues ignore this scroll down to part two right here SWG legends launcher dot zip under part two right here this file get this file it's a zip file unzip it once it's unzipped you're gonna take that file now this is Linux Mint 2.2 20.2 uh, should work the same under 21 should work the same under 19x uh, go to your home folder which is where I installed it you want to click on show hidden files okay now you got all your files open go down to wine Drive C, Program Files x86, Star Wars Galaxies. Now, you have to install it through Wine. And right there is the Legends Launcher. Just pop that folder in the Star Wars Galaxies folder. Just unzip it right here. If you don't want to unzip it right in here, Unzip it in your downloads. Just move it over here and drop. Just drag and drop it. But it goes in the S in the Star Wars Galaxies folder. Okay, right there. It goes in that folder. Once it's in that folder, uh, let me see where is the. There's a launcher shortcut somewhere, and you'll have to track down the. The dot execute the shortcut and and uh, put a shortcut on your desktop. Yeah. Client dot execute. Uh, client R dot execute. I think this is recommended. You just have to check them out. But the, the, here's your dot executes for actually launching the game. But there's an easier way to do this. Everybody has Steam. Most people have Steam. Steam runs non-Steam games. A lot of people know this. A lot of people don't. When you load up Steam, go to your library. Up here under Games, your Games tab. Nope, 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 nope. Sorry, wrong one. Up here at the top where it says Steam, um, is it under view? I can't remember. Let me look. Let me look. Let me look. Friends, games. Go under games. Okay. And you want to add a non-Steam game to my library. It's the very last option under games. Add a non-Steam game to my library. It'll open a window. You will add the game to Steam. If you look right here, SWG Legends Launcher dot execute. Add the launcher. Don't add the game. Add the launcher. All we got to do is launch it. The game will take care of everything else. You just got to get the launcher. This is the easiest way to do this, guys. That's through Steam. It's the easiest way. Proton runs so well. Why wouldn't you use it? So we've got the launcher installed. Steam has the launcher. If you run Steam, this is the easiest way to get this game to run. You can play around with Wine. You can play around with the launcher. I couldn't make it work. I tried for two days. I could not find how, how to solve certain issues. Run it through Steam. Runs great. 
once it's installed of course it'll run right away but you're gonna need to do some things where you downloaded your launcher at you're gonna read down this page uh, there's a guide here for the game and launcher don't worry about that run it through steam it's the easiest way to do it no problems right here if you don't already have an account on the forums make one here this account information will be used to log into the game as well you have to make a form account those accounts are manually approved daily they usually get on them within an hour or two they have several CSRs working the CSRs by the way in this game are fantastic this server the the devs the people in discord join the damn discord oh my god the information there is crazy uh, you're gonna want to make that form account when you download the launcher that way by the time you get it all installed and you get it running hopefully your form account is approved if not give it a little time if a little time goes by and you don't see anything you're gonna have to wait that they will get to it the discord is set up right here you can join their discord but the only problem with that is you can't use the discord until they approve your form account I know it's kind of stupid but the bot will block you from using the the discord um, I'm not sure if you can get to the CR, CRS channel or not I don't think you can because I had the same issue uh, you can fill out a help request on the forms uh, and they will send it to a CSR and they will get back to you and approve your account pretty quick but you have to do that so make sure you download this while this is downloading go here sign up for your form account everything's good now you've got the game installed you've got your account ready the account name you use will be the one you log in with so we're ready to fire up the game and take a quick look all right so we got our form account filled out we've got our game installed we've got our launcher downloaded and ready to go drop it in the folder hook it up through steam it's the easiest way to do it so we click steam and there it is because I've already run it and I'll just show you what uh, what the screens look like it does take just a minute to get started but it hasn't failed to load yet okay this is the initial screen where you'll see your password and username stuff like that you can set this I've got mine set to rebel you can set this through so setting somewhere right here the little gear you can change this log in you will get an update it's going to be a horrible long update if you don't have a really good internet connection get everything installed get your form account ready and before you go to sleep launch the game log in you'll get this screen and you'll get a 15 hour update it took me in real time about 45 minutes maybe 50 minutes to update but I've got like I got 350 download and 21 up so my internet screaming quick I, don't, I didn't have any issues uh, and it, take, it took about an hour uh, and then you just click the play button there's some settings here that are kind of grayed out on my screen I don't know if you can see this um, see it shining through there there's a form shortcut there is a shortcut there for support uh, over here there's settings and home so there's there's four tabs up there that you can't see because I've got a black background on my screen that's it just I don't know why they're not brighter uh, maybe if a dev watches this or CSR they can tell them they need to make those buttons colored or at least not clear 
see through it makes it hard to read but there's four options up there um, this tells you the servers online and the population of the server at the time uh, we just click play because we've already logged in our username and passwords there and you'll get this SWG legends on the screen and we start running the game you can click on the screen as these come up and bypass them and here we go we're in the game this is the easiest game to install if you run it through Steam I personally could not make it work running it under wine without Steam and I even went to one of the developers with it and we couldn't make it work his answer was just run it through Steam it's just so much easier uh, Proton does such a great job um, I'll give you a little view of my bunker uh, which is a 90 day veterans reward which you get <laughs> check it out 10 days after you've logged in 10 days 10 days that character gets a Mustafar bunker now uh, this is my droid engineer there's my droid making stuff I've got toolboxes with metal and parts and stuff got metal over here um, this this game it runs screaming fast it's, it's an older game sure but I've got a holo, uh, hologram with a control panel uh, for pictures let's go up top got my vendor up here for selling droids I've sold probably six or eight droids in the last two or three days and here's the world we're on Talos I love Talos those are uh, waypoints I've got marked but the game looks just as good or better than it ever did uh, I invite you to, to join the discord join the game let's have fun Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I hope it's clear enough. If it wasn't, leave me a comment. I'll give you some help. I don't mind helping people. Matter of fact, if you like this video, uh, just go ahead and tell me. Leave me a comment. If you didn't like this video, leave me a comment. I don't care. Hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel. I do crazy shit. You never know what'll happen. I do do Linux tutorials when necessary. If you got a suggestion, let me know. Y'all have a great Sunday. I'm out of here.